Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. FBI Director Christopher Wray gives disturbing answer to question about dossier author. During a recent congressional hearing, panicked FBI Director Christopher Wray froze up and gave a disturbing answer to one daunting question about Christopher Steele, the author of the dirty dossier. Wray left many wondering what he's hiding. Since being appointed as the new FBI Director, Christopher Wray has not demonstrated an affinity for working in the interest of American citizens over those of the deep state. Obviously, he's caught in a precarious position, and Wray is continuing to make decisions that bring a lot of doubt from Trump supporters who hoped for real change at the FBI. According to the Gateway Pundit, Senator Tom Cotton, R.R., asked Director Wray if Christopher Steele was working for Russian oligarch Oleg Pasca. Shockingly, Ray wanted no part of answering the question during that session and brushed Cotton off with a short reply. Mr. Ray are you aware of a gentleman by the name of Oleg Derpaska? Cotton asked. In a smug manner, Ray replied, I've heard the name. Cotton continued his line of questioning, asking, is it fair to call him a Putin-linked Russian oligarch? Ray's response was ambiguous and retreating. Well. I'll leave that characterization to others and certainly not in this setting," Ray said. Then, Cotton went straight in for the kill because he knew Ray was withholding information. Chuck Grassley the chairman of the Judiciary Committee last week sent a letter to a London-based lawyer who represents Derpaska and asked if Mr. Steele was employed either directly or indirectly by Oleg Derpaska at the time he was running the Steele dossier. Do you know if Christopher Steele worked for Oleg Derpaska? Cotton asked. This is when Ray climbed up and responded, that's not something I can answer. Cotton pressed Ray on the matter, asking, could we discuss it in a classified setting? Ray's brief response was still unsatisfactory. There might be more we can say there, Ray added. At that point, Cotton thanked Ray and discontinued the line of questioning. There's something very lopsided and wrong about all of this. FBI Director Christopher Wray refused to answer a simple question about Christopher Steele, who was working with the FBI and paid by Hillary Clinton to attack Donald Trump, a political opponent. The dossier was used by the FBI to obtain FISA warrants so that Barack Obama could spy on Donald Trump and his campaign staff in an attempt to stop him from becoming president. When that didn't work, Obama and his cohorts decided to try to sabotage Trump's presidency. So, to what extent does our new FBI director Ray O. Christopher Steele consideration or privacy? Why couldn't he simply answer the questions being asked to ensure complete transparency and integrity? It's unfortunate that Ray can't seem to demonstrate a willingness to help expose corruption. The questions Cotton asked followed reports that Democrat Senator Mark Warner, DVA, had reached out to the lobbyist linked to Depasco because he wanted to arrange a meeting with Fusion GPS dossier author Christopher Steele, according to Fox News. In response to the accusations against Warner, Jay Sekulow, an attorney for President Donald Trump, said, Wait, wait, I want to say this again. The ranking member of the United States Senate is talking to a lobbyist to talk to 